Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am still fully tuned in on autumn and with the rain pouring down outside all the time and the temperatures dropping to like 17, 18 degrees, it's hard not to get in the mood for those colder months, I would say. And at least in Denmark, it seems like summer has just completely gone and disappeared. Like I also mentioned in a previous video that was kind of autumn related, we probably will have a couple of weeks that will be warm and summery by the end of this month, maybe even by the start of September. But in any case, I can't help myself, I can't help but get in the mood for autumn when the weather is like this. And I feel like the beauty of a capsule wardrobe that's not too strict is that you have the possibility of changing your mind along the way if the weather changes like it has right now and if you just feel uninspired by what you have in your wardrobe and I would definitely say that I don't reach as much for my summer clothing that I probably would for those autumn pieces at least right now so I just feel like slowly transitioning to autumn already. So when we're speaking autumn styling I feel like it's all about layering, it's all about adding subtle touches of autumn into your looks if that makes sense. So adding a few muted or burnt colors to a wardrobe and adding some extra knitwear, some heavy boots and really play around with layers because I feel like that's something that autumn really allows you to do and that's one of the reasons why it's my favorite season to dress for. I recently made a video called my must-have autumn wardrobe staples I think. In any case I'm gonna link it right here on the screen in case you want to go have a look at that video as well after watching this one. So I feel like it's really important for you guys to understand that you don't have to buy an entire new wardrobe just because the seasons change or just because the seasons change from summer to autumn, for example. Like I just mentioned before, you can tweak your current wardrobe, you can make subtle changes here and there, and that will really make a huge difference for your wardrobe. But I will show you much more of that in my coming autumn capsule series. I'm gonna be releasing my autumn capsule wardrobe for 2019 very soon. I already know what it's gonna look like, and I already know that it's gonna be a very simple autumn capsule wardrobe this time around, but I really feel like getting back to basics for a little while and just really practicing that art of less is more, basically. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to turn five basic summer looks into five basic autumn looks because that's the only way I can really show you guys just how easy it is and really prove to you guys that you don't need an entire new wardrobe just because the seasons change. So most of the items that I've styled in this video are part of like the backbone of my wardrobe, the core basics of my wardrobe, including the summer pieces that I've styled up as well. These are very basic. These are items that you can wear year upon year, season after season, they never really die out. So that's the whole idea with this video. So bear in mind that these are summer looks that are suitable for the Danish climate. Some of these might be too warm to wear where you guys live, but these are very suitable for the Danish weather. So for the first look, I went for a leather skirt paired with a basic white shirt. This is a look that I absolutely love. You could also wear it with a denim skirt instead if you feel like that is a bit more summery. I know that a leather skirt can definitely feel very hot, especially during summer. So during summer, I would definitely wear this look with a pair of sandals or maybe a pair of leopard flats. I feel like that's a very edgy chic kind of summer look. Edgy chic, I feel like that's always really hard to say. And then for autumn, I would simply put on a jumper and then put on a pair of boots and still have bare legs because I feel like when we transition from summer to autumn, something quite magical happens like that. You can have bare legs, but you can still snuggle up in a cozy jumper and it's still all good with the temperatures outside because they're a little bit in between. So for the next look, I decided to go for a pleated skirt and then just a simple white t-shirt. This pleated skirt is actually part of my occasion wear wardrobe because I tend to wear skirts more for fancy occasions. I'm not really much of a dress or skirt girl, but I'm actually contemplating bringing out this skirt and making it part of my everyday wardrobe for autumn because I feel like it looks so great with boots leather jackets, knitwear, as you'll probably see very soon in this video. So like I just said, for an everyday look, I would just pair it with a white t-shirt and then maybe a pair of sandals or a pair of sneakers. If the temperature starts dropping, I would simply add a biker jacket. 
maybe even put on a jumper underneath to stay extra warm and I'd still keep my legs bare like before because again during those transitional periods throughout the year you get to be a bit more playful with layers like that which is amazing. This biker jacket by the way is my new baby from Pelisha Coco which is a sustainable leather brand so they use only reused materials for all of their jackets all of the leather that they use have come from something else and they just repurpose it they rework it into these amazing biker jackets and i've been wanting one of these for oscar snorka i featured their shop in my sustainable city guide for copenhagen that i recently just posted here on my channel so if you want to go have a look at that video you definitely should but i just love this jacket so much it's a bit more heavy than the traditional biker jacket it has a beautiful cotton lining inside and yeah in general it's a bit more warm and heavy and it's just perfect for autumn So for the third look, the base is again a basic white t-shirt and then a pair of jeans. This is a look that I love wearing all throughout the year and during summer, if it's not too hot anyway, maybe it would be too hot for jeans sometimes and I would just put on a pair of denim shorts instead. But if it's not too hot for jeans, I would definitely just wear this look with a pair of cool sandals, accessorize it a bit with like my vintage Chanel bag, a pair of sunglasses and a lot of jewelry and then that's it. So for this very basic look, I feel like it's perfect to play around with those layers. So to make it a bit more autumn appropriate, I would put on a denim jacket. I love a bit of denim on denim. And then I would actually put a wool coat on top. I feel like that is such a cool look. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I made a winter layering kind of guide. So kind of winter layering, but still looking chic. And I actually featured kind of the same look in that video. So. Definitely, if you feel like your wool coat is not keeping you quite warm enough, layering a denim jacket underneath and as an extra layer is definitely a great way of staying warm, but also look really chic. Another thing that I really love wearing during summer when you have a bit of a tan and it's light and airy outside is an all white look. I will never get tired of an, of an all white look during summer. So I wanted to create an all white look. So just again, a basic white t-shirt and a pair of white jeans and then with a pair of sandals. And then to make it feel more like autumn, I would add a blazer, maybe even a belt and then a pair of black boots. Very simple, very cute, I think. You could even wear a light gray jumper underneath to stay extra warm and also I feel like the very light kind of gray paired with the white jeans kind of keeps that all white look, but at the same time, it's just a bit different, if that makes sense. So adding that extra layer with the blazer and then switching up the sandals for a pair of boots is an easy way to stay a little bit more warm and still look chic. Last look is a pair of dark blue denim jeans and a black t-shirt and a pair of black espadrilles. A very basic, classic kind of summer look that I absolutely love. If it's too hot again, of course you can wear a denim skirt instead of the jeans. It's denim, both of the things, so it's kind of the same story, but if you wear a denim skirt, it's a bit more appropriate for really hot temperatures. Again, this is a very basic look that I absolutely love simple chic i think and then an easy way to update this look to autumn is simply adding a trench coat and then ditching the espadrilles that's a very summery kind of shoe in my opinion ditching those for a pair of brown loafers instead i've actually pulled these out from storage these are not like a fixed part of my basic wardrobe but it is a very basic shoe in my opinion but the brown color makes them especially appropriate for autumn, I think. I think they're perfect for autumn. And then I featured the trench coat in my um, autumn stables video that I mentioned in the beginning because I feel like a trench coat is something I cannot live without in my own wardrobe basically all throughout the year but especially during autumn when it's kind of drizzly and windy and you just need a light layer to protect you from rain or anything like that. Then a trench coat is a practical but chic kind of jacket to have in your wardrobe. Yeah. 
So there you have it guys, that was five basic summer looks transitioned to autumn looks. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what was your favorite look and let me know if you have any other tips you'd like to sh share with me and the rest of my girls in here. I can't wait to share my autumn capsule wardrobe with you guys. I feel like this is gonna be one of my best capsule wardrobes ever actually and I know that I often say that because I'm so excited right at the beginning of the season but I really feel like I'm getting back to my roots this year and I'm quite excited about that so thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave so that I'll see you in my next video also make sure you swing by Instagram and follow that account for my daily outfit updates so take care everyone and I will see you all in my next video Bye guys.